Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 50 of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we had one more encounter with Mumkar, where he met his end for good. Now we're able to go into Galahad Fortress and save Fiora. But not before you're exploring, like, all of this, because it, it's pretty damn obvious, but... The hell does Zord Val... The Zord Val... I keep saying Zord Valley. Jeez. <laughs> the hilt of Sword Valley is a really, really big place that I think anybody should have the decency to explore. So we're going to do that then. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. And you, you, better, you better appreciate it because otherwise we're turning this whole thing around. Like for realsies. We are. Okay, so first things first, obviously, uh, we can basically see all of these uh, Mechon dropships that, you know, were there, that were present during the attack on Colony 9, so we can at least see w the origin of those, or rather, you know, not really the origin of those, but where they originally came from in the first place. And yeah, you can you can basically like tell like this is like a really huge place to explore with like lots of pathways to lots of pathways to go through, lots of things, lots of other things. You know, important stuff. Um as for collectopedia items, we still don't have a, we still don't have all of the collectopedia items unfortunately. And you know, we're probably going to be revisiting this place um, at a later time. Definitely. Oh my god, you can see... You can see the arm of the... I totally forgot. You can see the arm of the Mechonis over the... Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. And uh, you definitely saw it. I'll, I'll show it off a little bit later, but... Uh, you definitely saw, like, all of Bionis just, like, on the opposite side, right? Like, right over there, you can just barely see Asai Tower from over there. You can see the Bionis head, and, like, if you look closely enough, like, you, if you look closely enough, you can definitely see Bionis Lake from over there, you, from a certain angle. So, that's already amazing. That's already, like, legendary and groundbreaking, and, ah, oh, this game is so good. Like, one thing that really, that really set Xenoblade apart from the rest, from the rest of them, is the fact that, you know, again, if you can see it, you can go to it, but it's also the fact that you can also see, like, locations from, like, really, really far away. Like, we've been to the Bionis head before. We've been to that tower over there. Just think about it. It really puts the scale of the world into, like, a lot of perspective. It really does. Like, to think that we tiny little human beings were able to just climb up the Bionis all the way to the head. And we end up on the sword of the Makanis. On the sword. Like, again puts it into perspective just how far we have come in you know 48 hours of gameplay of course that's 48 hours for me I don't know how much it would be for you but you know depending it depends on if you're like skipping cutscenes and doing all that good stuff or if you're just doing as minimal questing as possible you know the importance you know again the important things Um, but, um, I'm thinking we're going to need our good old-fashioned, uh, high damage party for this. Because going over here, you have secure the radio tower. Lightning Renove. One of my favorite unique monsters to fight, actually. You learned a skill. And speaking of that, Shulk's getting pretty close to his last skill on his fourth skill branch. Did Ricky finally? Yes, he did. <laughs> I don't know why it took so much SP to learn all of that skill, but th but there it is. Um, I 
think we're going to work on... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to work on uh, flexibility here for Ricky's skill tree. But wait, what about Melia? Oh, she already got max up. She, she maxed out on her uh, reticent skill branch. So we're going to switch over to honesty. And there it is, right over here. Lightning Renove. A challenge, if I do say so for myself. So that's precisely what we're going to do. No, go over here to me, please. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't want to run away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Can I Monado and Champ, please? Thank you. Okay. So, basically, in order to get to Lightning Renault, we need to kill these, uh, we need to kill these other mech on right here. We really do. Because we really don't want to have to deal with, like, a lot of mech on in a battle. Or rather, a lot of enemies in a battle. Because too many enemies might end up, like, being, like, a detriment rather than a, uh, rather than a non-detriment if we're, if we can say s such things like that. Okay. So, uh, let's at least fill up our Monado Gate so we can at least be ready. And, uh, oh, that, that, that enemy got dead, man. Like, right as we were doing it. That's fair. Because I don't know if you could tell or not. But, right over here, Lightning Renove has a spike. I forget which spike it is that it has. But, uh, we're, we will see. We will see. First, as always, uh, whenever you're dealing with an, whenever you're dealing with an enemy that's uh, a bigger enemy that's around smaller enemies, absolutely make sure to take care of the smaller enemies first. Okay. So I believe the uh, spike for lightning Renov, if my memory serves me right, is a. Oh yeah, it's a damage spike. Yeah, it's a damage spike. So, unfortunately, that means we're going to have to deal with that. Machine Mayhem. That's for killing... Well, we're going to see in a little bit either way. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for the topple. We might as well. That will get rid of the uh, spike, fortunately. And we didn't get another chain attack. Wonderful. Uh, make sure you have Monado Purge ready because, once again, that, re that removes spikes. And would you look at that? That topple plus is really doing wonders, actually. Yeah, it really does. Like, look. Look at how slow that uh, topple gauge is going. Like, that. this dude is staying on the ground for a while. Like, a very long time. Isn't it just satisfying? And we can even extend that topple even further by just topple locking him. And see, this is what I mean by using the topple locking strategy at work. This is what I mean. You can basically extend the topple as much as you want. And the enemy will just keep on just being down. So that you can just keep on wailing on him. As much as you like. Or at least until the topple gauge runs out. Alright. So uh, let's keep on doing this. Let's keep on going. And just in case it decides to go back up. Even though we won't really need it. There it is, the Monado Purge, and right there. Topple, topple and Daze Resist 4. Really good gems, actually. And some really good experience, too. Ooh, oh, I had a feeling. Somebody learned a new art, and that's Ricky. Say so. <gasps> Oh, ho, 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 ho. say sorry. One of my favorite arts for Ricky. Ooh, ooh. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get an anti mech on weapon on. Uh, let's get the anti biter on Ricky. I don't care. Let's let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, the reason why I'm excited is because Say Sorry is one of my favorite arts for Ricky. Well, because of the sole fact that... Okay. So, here's the thing. Debuff the enemy as much as you can. Like, make it have a whole bunch of debuffs like, you know, the Burninate, the DPS, and the everything. Once you do that, you say sorry! And you can deal, like, a lot of damage. You can deal... <laughs> you can deal, like, a lot of damage with all those debuffs in mind. And that's also for stat decreases as well. Born in a world of sorries against the ones. We choose to apologize for everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's the power of Say Sorry. One of my absolute favorite arts. Because you can just debuff the enemy as much as you want, and then you use Say Sorry to deal, like, a buttload of damage. So, uh, let's see exactly what the uh, description says for that. So... The target debuffs increased damage by one point by one times. And I believe no it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't increase, unfortunately, so bleh. That is that's fine. He's fine. Okay, so really it only increases damage in cooldown time, so that's that's okay. That is okay. Now, my gut is telling me that there's a... Uh, there's a location up there that I really want to discover. I know for a fact that there's a unique monster up there. So, we're going to take care of that, like, really quick. Yes. 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 Okay. So... Yep, yeah, that's that's my memory working working out well for me. So if you decide to go up this way, look at how big that arm is, dude. Okay. So if you do decide to go up here, I believe this is a location that you can discover. Port maintenance bay. And among these monsters is Fate Labolas. Lo Fate Labolas. Okay. Show thing. If you say so. Once again, take out the weaker enemies before you take out the uh, really big enemies. And I totally should really just get anti mech on weapons on everybody, should I? Because I can't really keep on doing. I can't really keep up with Monado and Chance forever. Because I want everybody else, I want everybody else to uh, shine. It's just that I decided to go with the uh, with hard mode. <laughs> well, possibly hard mode even. Well, whatever the case, uh, we're gonna take care of these guys absolutely really quickly, and then I believe that will do it for. Born in a world of melees against the brawls. We choose to four for the ultimate. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I just had to get that one in, dude. There have been way too many opportunities where we didn't have a chain link going and where we didn't have a chain link going and I perfectly had Blossom Dance up and ready to go. And yeah. <laughs> so this is just to make up for lost time, as they say. And there we go. All I had to do was just a chain attack, and then we were good as gold. Mountain Spear and a Longevity Biter for Ricky. That contains Poison Plus. Can be very good for Lurgy, actually. Or Lurgy, even. So I believe where we need to go for... Uh, uh, oh, actually, yeah, we need to go down further than that, actually. We can just dump down because Xenoblade is also really good at platforming. Okay. So, we can go down here. 
Uh, that's a melee unit right there. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. Thank you. Um, I get the feeling that we haven't really discovered every location. At least that's the feeling I get. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna completely ignore these guys. Done! You know, you really... You know, you really feel the, uh... You really... Ha! <laughs> really feel... You really feel the, uh, music change with that. Like, when I can even... When I can even really appreciate, you know, the enemy spotting you music is is actually kind of really good. Sounding, you know, really good and it's fully or orchestrated, you know, feel. Uh, I don't believe we have all the collectibles since we're coming up on the end of Sword Valley. I mean, obviously we're going to be back here for, you know, future things because there's still... There's still unique monsters that we've yet to kill, and also we got the Collectopedia. We still have the Collectopedia to complete. But uh, just remember, uh, you're not going to be always coming back to Sword Valley, so just make sure you get everything while you can. As always, I'll let you know when everything expires, obviously. And, uh, yeah. So that's going to be pretty good. It's going to be good. <laughs> and speaking of which, Galahad Fortress is going to be very good indeed, too. <laughs> it's going to be good. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. Fiora's in here somewhere. Let's get looking. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm ready for anything. I'll trash any mechon that tries to mess with us. Left battle. So we need to defeat the mechon within Galahad Fortress to see if we can find a way to unlock the lift. And here we are at the main maintenance bay. Now, uh, I think I'm just going to allow myself to get everybody into anti mech on weapons here because, well, let's face it. it's It was basically an eventuality that we were going to have to just bite the sour apple with that one. Well, everybody except for Melia. She's good. <laughs> Yeah, everybody except for Melia. That, that's what it is. So, yeah, here we are at Galahad Fortress, where now everybody is a mechon, and everybody has anti-mechon weapons. Okay. So, I hope you're ready to open your ears. I really hope you open your ears. Because what you're about to encounter is my all-time favorite song in this game. We can't lose! Leave it to Ryan! Leave this to me! We can definitely do this! Let's focus on this! Understood! No problem! Now I 
Luckily, don't get cocky. Stay focused. Stay sharp. Yes, sir. That was mechanical rhythm. Definitive Edition did this song so good. In the context of Xenoblade, it, I definitely agree that it does take a really long time to start up. Especially considering that the battles can be a little bit short, shorter than expected. But the song is just so... Mm, it's so good, dude. Like, like, it's the point where Xenoblade starts to get metal and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I absolutely adore it from like beginning to end like in to in context of Smash Bros where battles take a lot take a lot longer it definitely makes sense so you can hear that song and it's like proper full glory right and yeah just the fact that uh, just the fact that this song is like done so well and it loops basically after three minutes it's just oh my god oh my god uh, you you can definitely tell I was like really excited to get the Galahad Fortress like right away because Mechanical Rhythm is like my favorite battle theme and my favorite song in all of Xenoblade in all of Xenoblade Chronicles at least <laughs> the first one not in all of Xenoblade really because because that would be like a really hard pick to do but in the context of the first game yes uh, Mechanical Rhythm uh, best song. All right. And Ryan is dazed? How? How is Ryan dazed? I mean, at the very least, we get another chain attack, so that's good. Speaking of which, uh, this is a room where we need to be in order to in order to get our story quest done. We need to kill this Sentinel Mechon. And, oh my god, we got so many chain attacks, dude. So many. Border world of mechs against the rhythm. We choose to headbang to this song, baby. All right, let's go. Manalpasta. You should really listen to the full mechanical rhythm song. It's so good. I I, I can't say it enough. I I, I really can't. Oh. Yay, the second art coal coil. That was difficult. We really have been Colony 6. Speaking of places that we're not always going to be coming back to. <laughs> Galahad Fortress, like Sword Valley, is another location where we're not always going to be able to come back to. So make sure you take care of all the quests, all the locations. All the everything taken care of. Because once access to Galahad Fortress is cut off from you, that's it. Oh, man. Okay. Anyway, I, I'm done, like... I'm done, like, uh, just absolutely gushing over mechanical rhythm. As much as I would really like to continue doing that, I'm gonna have to say... I'm gonna have to hold off on it. The third fuel supply room is right there. And, yep, we already discovered all the locations here. And, uh, we shall now use the lift. I also gotta really like Galahad Fortress's music, too. Like, it makes you feel like you're in the mech on Stronghold, as, you know, the typical reviewer would say. But... Either way, either way, we can now use the lift to head down here. And we can proceed all the way to over this way. Where the control room access is just right here. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk, what's that?
Oh, looks like fun. Ricky, want to ride? We didn't come here to mess about, Furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston, we might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mekon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try! Yeah, but how are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right, let's search for them. Good idea. Supply station battle. Stop the turbines that are generating the power. And also turbine battle too. We made it to the main control room where we find a bug and a splish splash. <laughs> like even in a place as serious as this, you can always count on Xenoblade to bring on the enemy names. Or bring, or rather, not the enemy names, but the Collectopedia names. You know what I mean. You understand what I mean. We can't lose. All right, Glacier Akon. So we got a unique monster that's in here. And once again, make sure to deal with all unique monsters in here before you even have a chance to move on with your life. Thankfully, Glacier Akon doesn't really doesn't really have any uh, spikes to worry about, so that's good. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about. And you can just keep on top of locking this thing like nothing else. Let's just beat it down. Let's just be unfair. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go all guns blazing against this thing. Let, let's just go. Like, it's not even that comparable, man. It's not even that comparable. This is sad. Anyone? <laughs> A jumbo garter for Ryan. Not bad. All right, so we were able to stop the first turbine. We get a hunger crash. Now, speaking of the uh, collectibles here, um, our core, coil, core coils. Um, to my knowledge, I do believe someone might, Everyone, someone in the world go. might trade for these. But I believe you need, like, a really high level of affinity with uh, that certain area in order to even trade for those. So, it's it's best that if you just hunt them down yourself. So, yeah, just basically do that. And go! Alright. There we go. And, uh, let's... You know what? Let's actually change up the party here a little bit. Let's uh, get in, you know, Melia, Ricky, and Shulk in here. You know, because Melia don't need no anti-mech on weapon, no siree. And we get turbine battle done. So, with that all said... Now all we have to do is just stop the turbine and or stop the pistons and we're good as gold. So it can be a little bit confusing to navigate, but very thankfully that's what the story pathway is for. AKA that's what definitive edition is for. So we, oh God, you know what? You know what? That's fair. That's very fair. That's fair. M M M eighty 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 M forty eight century unit. That's fair. And also the spotted you music is actually different too. You know they could have totally used mechanical rhythm uh, by the time that uh, we entered Sword Valley, but they just didn't for some reason. Even though we were totally. Even though we were totally on mechanics, they still use time to fight. They still use time to fight, which I like that theme a lot, actually. I've grown to appreciate it a whole lot more in uh, Definitive Edition. 
But it's just I like mechanical rhythm a lot better. Maybe it's because headbanging music is like my preferred type of music, actually. <laughs> There's many reasons why I like so many different versions of mechanical rhythm. is because it makes you bang your head. And, you know, music that can make my head bang is just music that I really appreciate. Like a whole lot. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't know why I, got, I went past this thing, but let's, uh, activate it, then. Nice one! We did it! This should prevent them from mobilizing any large Mekon squads for now. Hopefully, we've improved the Allied forces' chances. Hold steady, my brother. Friends! Here! Here! It looks like the door's been unlocked. Nice. Let's get down to the blast furnace. If we're lucky, Fiora might be down there. All right then. So we got we got our goal right ahead of us. Last thing before we close out. Um right here is a self-destruct device. It appears to be a turbine self-destruct device. You need something to release it. Well, we're going to have to find that certain something. But for now, I believe that will about do it. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we're going to keep on going through Galahad Fortress, doing all the things that we need to do. And if we have enough time, maybe we can find Fiora. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.